Well, uh, in my endeavor to um, uh, keep explaining that how these transits affect us and how these transits have a different connotation when they are in different houses. I have explained initially about Saturn and uh, I've explained about Jupiter and now this time I'm going to explain to you all about Mars. How Mars when it is tra uh, transiting through the various 12 houses, what impact it has. And um, uh, if you've been following my series, you would uh, definitely know that all these houses are divided into four energies, that is the fire, the earth, the water and the air energy. So similarly, when these planets are going through these various houses, they do tend to adopt the energies of that particular house. So Mars, which is actually known as a very fiery planet, it's a very aggressive planet. It's a planet that which wins wars. It is known as a warrior planet. It can be used constructively and it can be used destructively depending upon the persons or the individual's persona. But at the same time, since our body is also made out of these four elements, that is water, air, earth and fire, these elements tend to have or build the attitude within us. So when these planets come into a particular sign and coordinate with the elements of our body, we can use it constructively or destructively. And now when you all are seeing your chart, you have to see where your Mars planet is uh, placed. Uh, more often than not, Mars and Venus is in and around your sun sign. So you could probably see a look into your chart and see which sign your uh, planet is placed in the natal chart. So how your attitude is developed during that time. And then what is the transit showing because the transits are always different. And then accordingly analyze it. But uh, this is for your general explanation. You can't completely tune it into your life. So you must understand that when the planets are transiting the various houses, what do they demand of us? See, it's never a question of predictions. It's always like I maintain the fact that life is what you make it. So you have to learn how to create your own prophecies by understanding what the planets are demanding of us and how we are supposed to act in a particular way when a particular planet is in a particular house. Having done all the four energies earlier, now we come back into the fire sign which is in the house of Leo. Leo is a fire sign. So when Mars is transiting the fifth house, uh, this is a very self-expressive time for you when you have lots of energy but not necessarily self-discipline to match. So you will be raring to go when it's in a fire sign but the self-discipline is missing which was not in the Aries. It is in the Leo sign. That's the difference between the Aries fire sign and the Leo fire sign. So you have more energy at your disposal to express yourself creatively through activities uh, when you're when you're indulging in activities with children your spouses and indulging in your hobbies so you will realize that the sports people or the people who are trying to bond with their family or with their children and indulging in their hobbies and Mars is transiting through the fifth house that is Leo which is a fire sign you will realize that your energies are very much cultivated and you will actually be doing very well at all these things and whenever you bond with outdoor activities with family or friends Success is bound to happen as networking and social contacts do increase. Now, when this Mars is transiting the fifth house, just see the seventh house is nearby. So what happens is your love life also steps up a notch and this could be especially a very, very passionate time for you. You could be putting in more energy into play and pleasure. Be careful not to burn the angle on both the ends. Which means don't be an extremist. If you're pursuing your love life and you're wanting to cement your relationship, go slowly and steadily. 
Don't put all your energies or all your time or all your money in one basket because that way you could be burning your candle from both the ends and you will in the end actually receive nothing. There are times when people have come to me and told me that Mars uh, was transiting their fifth house and the creative energy was very high and they decided that they wanted to pursue the love life but actually it ended up in a disaster. My answer to them is, you should have gone slowly and steadily. You actually came on so strong that you frightened the other person away. Now the way I spoke earlier that whenever you are pursuing your love relationship, try to find a common ground rather than just jumping into bed or just trying to get your passions. So see that's where the discipline comes in. That when you are getting into and expressing yourself creatively or expressing your love for the other person, your love should be expressed not physically but more on the intellectual grounds, more meeting the common grounds where your hobbies are, where you are like-minded. That like-mindedness will last forever. And uh, you must watch out for a tendency to also gamble. Sometimes people come and say that they would like to do gambling because their mind and energies are very, very strong and aggressive at this time. Again, discipline. Gamble only if you have money to spare. Don't gamble to make money out of more money. Uh, you must understand that when Mars is transiting the fifth house, it has a direct impact on your personality your charisma you'll be you'll be more charismatic to the world let not that be fooled be practical know yourself don't allow others to fool you when they actually feel that you are very charismatic and very you're, you're very magnetic because when mars is transiting the fifth house you'll actually realize that even the ugly duckling is looking very very pretty so actually this is a time when we decide that this is when the marriages uh, should take place. Because a person is at its biggest and the happiest and the most charismatic element. So when Mars is transiting the fifth house, that is the Leo, most marriages will take place. But everything has to be again done in discipline. The transit of Mars takes 23 months to travel in all the zodiac signs. Basically, when you will look into your own chart, you will realize where the um, uh, transit is because the almanac does gives us the, all the dates. But just to give a clue to my clients, you must uh, know that from January to March 9th, Mars is transiting Aries. And from March 10th onwards, it's transiting Taurus. So probably... Then further on, if you want to know how it is, you can divide these 23 months and you will realize where the uh, Mars is transiting.